Okay, so acylation is pretty similar to number four, which was alkylation, in the sense that we have to use Friedel Crafts reagent to rip off some sort of uh, either a chloride or something similar like that. But we'll continue by trying to make the positive species. But obviously, this time it's not just an R group that we want, we actually want an R, C, double bond, O root plus. So the way we do that is adding your CL there and if we use ALCL3 again then all that will happen is this chlorine will end up being stuck to this which will produce exactly what we want which is that and of course ALCL4 with the minus on the metal Okay, so now we've got our reactive species. We can take the benzene again. And again, as usual, starting off with the Kekulé. Just draw it at a little bit of an angle so it looks like it's ready to be attacked. And all that we need to do now is draw in the intermediate with the plus there and the involved hydrogen there and we have an R sorry we have the C with the R there and the double bond there and of course the hydrogen stabilizes that when it leaves and you end up with your acylated benzene which will look like that of course you've got your hydrogen left over but then you've also got your ALCL4 and just as a little bit of information extra what actually happens is when it floats around with the ALCL4 is it takes back the Cl minus and forms HCl which obviously you'll know as hydrochloric acid but the thing that's important to notice is that AlCl4 is now AlCl3 so as you'll recognize because it's been regenerated it's actually a catalyst so you only need a small amount and it'll keep recycled in the reaction, sp in the reaction pot Anyway, just to finish off, we'll draw in these little circles for all you Wheeland Intermediate fans. Like that, trying to keep the diagonal going all the way through. And there we have the final species.